So now we're going to look at the horizons within this soil pit in a bit more detail. And specifically, we're going to, to see which ones are the key horizons in terms of, uh, in terms of allowing us to classify this particular uh, podzolic profile. Now, if we look at the horizons, we're in, we're in the forest. So the first thing that we see, it's, a, it's an unmanaged forest. So near the surface, we have the, the LFH horizon, so our leaf litter horizon. And so recall that when we, when we note this, we would describe this as being sort of positive going down to zero, being zero at the, minimal, at the mineral surface. So from about plus nine to zero, we would have an LFH horizon. So that combination of uh, leaf litter, uh, folic material and humic material. Um, mix in here right at the surface. So immediately below that we get into our AE horizon. So just like we've seen in some of the other profiles, the AE horizon is that uh, fairly leached colored horizon, so quite a light gray color where a lot of material has been translocated out of it. And it's quite thin in this profile, um, maybe three to four centimeters right in here. And so from about one to four, zero to four centimeters, oops, zero to four centimeters, we've got the, the AE horizon. Now immediately underneath that, we get into our, into our podzolic B horizon. So starting right around four centimeters, we've got, uh, we get into this very reddish horizon. And that goes down here, continues on, getting a little bit yellower with depth as we move from four centimeters down to about 15 centimeters would be our BF horizon. So if we look more closely at the color of, the, of that horizon, we can see that it's, it's, it's very, very red. So the, the moist crushed color is what you're meant to look at when you're looking at the, the podzolic B horizon. And so if we look at this, we can see that in terms of where it lines up on the, on the, the Munsell color sheet, it's actually, this is now, this is just the 10YR sheet. But the main thing I want to point out here, it may even be that we should be on a, a slightly uh, yellower sheet, but you can see that the chroma here is quite high. So we're up around, around six. And so you want to, uh, in terms of the, the podzolic B horizon, your color is always going to be quite, quite, uh, quite red. And so your chroma is likely to be greater than three in, in the podzolic B horizon. In terms of the, the texture of the, the podzolic B horizon, it's, uh, it's a very fine sandy material. So, you know, there's no way we could form a ribbon. There's no way we would ever mistake this for a BT horizon of the sort that we would see in the Luvasolic order. This is a very fine sandy uh, uh, substrate. And the other thing that we want to, to keep in mind here is that uh, the, one of the third morphological characters, one of the other morphological characteristics of this is that when we wet it up, instead of it just strictly feeling like, um, like it's a, a, a fine sandy material, there are, actually mineral, there are actually coatings on the mineral grains reflecting the translocation of material within the profile. So when we wet it up and rub it on the palm of our hand, it, it has a, a silty feel to it. Uh, so it feels even finer than the material. And you can actually see that it gets quite a, quite a bit uh, darker uh, when it's wet. So and not just, uh, not just in the redder, so indicating that we've got quite a bit of organic material within this. So the other thing to look at when we look at this, uh, this, this BF horizon is that, so this would be the BF again from the four to 15. You can see that it gets a little bit lighter or yellower as we go down, with, down through the profile. And just underneath the, the BF horizon, we've got a, a layer here that's a little bit darker. So from about 14 to 19 centimeters, we've got a layer that's a little bit darker in color. And so that, that, would, uh, that layer most likely has an additional input of material in it. And so uh, additional coatings of organic material relative to the material, the, the, the horizon above it. So you can see here that it's, it's it's quite a bit darker than the material above it, and it's also darker than the material below. So this would probably be a, a thin BHF, so where the H refers to the additional organic matter that's been translocated to that greater depth within the soil profile uh, at, into that horizon. So the BF and the BHF collectively are greater than 10 centimeters, which allows this to reach, meet all of the morphological criteria for the podzolic B horizon. And in terms of the chemical criteria, because this is a sandy material, we know that it has to have at least point, uh, 
0.4% um, iron pyrophosphate extractable iron and aluminum. And from, uh, from chemical extractions that were done on the soil profile not too far from here, we know that there's about 0.9% uh, extractable iron and about 0.4% extractable aluminum. So it would certainly meet those criteria and probably on the order of two to three percent organic carbon. So again, this would be one that would uh, put it in the in terms of the criteria of the uh, of the humoferric podzol. Underneath that, we get into uh, we, we start to see some evidence of uh, of episodic reducing conditions, and so we're getting into probably a, a, a BGJ horizon or perhaps a capital B capital C. GJ, where the G refers to glaing, and the J referring to it being not a really strong glade uh, horizon. There's not really pronounced models down here, but we can see a bit of a reduced matrix, and we start to see some models appearing through the horizon, particularly over to the on the side of the horizon that's closest to me. There's quite a large uh, uh, gravel deposit within that area, and so you can really see the, the strong oxidizing conditions that are occurring in that slightly coarser pocket that's close to me, and then uh, a little bit more reduced conditions in some of the finer textured materials. Now this particular soil profile has uh, another B horizon underneath that, which would be um, a, a glade horizon, and so if I just reach down and grab a sample of that, uh, we can see that in Together uh, in the horizon, there's uh, quite this, this light gray material, so a reduced matrix, but there are also some concentrate, strongly con con strong concentrations of models within this horizon as well. And so if we actually look right down into the soil profile here, we can see that there's quite uh, a, a brightly modeled uh, patches in, in through here together with the... Uh, with the the reduced substrate in in this area, but it's overall there's still a, a good mixture of of, of bright uh, bright material. So it would probably be classified as a BG or a BGJ horizon, indicating that it's got this evidence of uh, intermittent reducing conditions in that at that particular depth. And as we move down through the profile, so down here right around 45 centimeters, we start to get into a much grayer material. And if I just grab a sample of that. We can see that it's it's significantly reduced in, in color, much lighter in color relative to the material above it, indicating that there's been prolonged uh, uh, saturated periods in, in this soil uh, at, a, at, at some point in its development, and a lot of the iron has been uh, reduced and lost from the soil profile. <laughs>